Today we're going to do another installment on asthma management. Today we're going to introduce a tool, a very effective tool in uh, helping you during an asthma attack. It's called the acapella device. The acapella, it works through positive expiratory pressure, so you blow against resistance. That blowing against that resistance goes down and stents those swollen, constricted airways that you have during an asthma attack open so you don't trap the air down into your lungs because that trapped air just blows and inflates your lungs and does damage. So you don't want to have air trapping. You want to blow out against... And you know, if you don't have an acapella, I've instructed in other videos doing purse breathing. That's as effective, but this gives you more positive pressure and it also has a flutter device where you blow against it and it vibrates and that goes down and shakes open those airways and that, those thick, sticky secretions that get trapped into your lungs during an asthma attack. It shakes those, rattles those free so you can bring them up and out so they don't clog your airways up. Your airways are already inflamed and constricted during an asthma attack. Secretions in the middle of those constricted airways just make it that much worse. So this helps by dilating, splinting them open so you can exhale the trapped air out so you don't trap it, do damage to your lungs, and it works through... Uh, moving up those secretions, those trap sticky secretions that you have in your lungs as well. Also, you can attach your nebulizer to it and take your breathing treatment right at the same time. You just stick the other end of it there, breathe in like you would uh, taking a ne regular nebulizer treatment. So you get three effects. You get your nebulizer, which dilates those constricted airways open. You get the positive expiratory pressure that uh, stents them open, allow you to exhale all the air out. So you don't trap it because the more you trap, the less deeply you can breathe, and it also secretes, uh, allow you to move those uh, sticky secretions up and out. So it's a very, very effective tool. You can only get it through a doctor's prescription, so you go see your doctor, ask for it specifically. He feels it's necessary for you or a good fit for you, he'll write a prescription. Take that script to the uh, local durable medical equipment company and uh, get, pick one up. Generally, uh, most insurances pay, you'll just have to check ahead of time before you go in. It works like this. Um, you blow against this, it has a resistance inside, you can dial in the resistance right here. So you can turn it to make it more resistance, and you, or you can turn it the other way to make less resistance. The more resistance you have, the harder it is, the more back pressure that goes open. The lighter it is, the less, of, the less uh, pressure, and it just depends on you know, how old you are, how tall you are, how strong you are in, in moving those things. Generally though, the higher the pressure, um, the less long you can blow out. Now it's I ideally you want to exhale about three to four seconds generally or you know something like that. Uh, you just want to be able to blow out extra long than you normally do. So you inhale and then something like that. Not just you want to have extra long exhalation. Now the higher it is, the less long you're going to be able to blow out. So if you're not blowing out, you know, three to four times longer than what you normally do, then it's probably set too high. And if you're blowing out longer than, uh, you know, four seconds or, or three to four times longer than you normally do, then it's probably set to, too light. So what you do is take a deep breath in, sit up nice and straight or stand up, fill your lungs up, and then exhale against that. Now it's important that you don't exhale down to the point where you're squeezing and pushing it out. Just to the point where you can't blow any more out. And you'll feel it actually vibrating in your neck and down in your chest. It's very, very effective. You'll feel it actually, in a way, dilating your airways open. And then you do that, you know, do that about ten times. And then do a cough, like a huff maneuver, if you've never been instructed with a huff. That's a huff maneuver. Do that a couple, two, three times, and then repeat ten times. And that's your typical treatment. And your doctor will prescribe you how often he wants you to do it. He may want you to do it with every treatment. He may only want you to use it when you're having an asthma attack. Talk to your doctor specifically about that. But that's the acapella. It's a short, uh, succinct um, overview of it. 